Hi, I'm Kevin Van Dam, and as a tournament fisherman, one of the things that I've always been known for is my love for throwing spinnerbaits. And what I love about spinnerbaits is it's such an efficient tool for all parts of the water column and really just about any time of the year. What I try to do is match my spinnerbait, you know, head weight, blade combination to the fishing situation, you know. People know that spinnerbaits are good around shallow cover, and I love to throw them there too, you know, lay downs, bushes, shallow grass, boat docks, things like that. I'm gonna throw a lighter spinnerbait with smaller blades, and I'm gonna pick a color to match the clarity of the water, you know, brighter colors like chartreuse and stained water, and in clear water, like I'm fishing today up here in northern New York, I'm gonna use a, a more natural color, you know. A spinnerbait really imitates a bait fish, so what I wanna try to do with it is, is pick one that's gonna match the natural forage. You know, I've got a blue shad one on right here. This lake's got a lot of alewives in it. I've got willow blades on it. You know, willow blades come through the water a lot faster. I can use a faster retrieve. In clear water situations, the biggest thing with a spinnerbait is you gotta move the bait faster. You know, if it's bright light like this, you know, we got a nice sunny day, I wanna make that bait move fast enough so all the fish see is that flash and movement of the spinnerbait. They don't get too good a look at it in that situation. You know, if the water's dirty, that's not an issue. You know, the, the, the stain in the water is helping disguise the look of that bait for you. So, you know, in clear water situations, pick a spinnerbait that's natural, put some willow blades on it, and speed up your retrieve. Another thing that I always do with a spinnerbait is I want to make it hit something in the water if possible. If there's some cover, some grass, some wood, whatever, make that spinnerbait bang into that cover. If there's not, like here, I'm fishing, uh, you know, an outside drop-off like this in deeper water. I'm fishing a heavy spinnerbait, and I'm letting it get down a little bit and then reeling it real fast. During my retrieve, I'm going to jerk it a few times. I'm going to twitch it. I'm going to make that bait move erratically. I'm going to make the blades change the rotation, make that skirt flare a little bit. That quick movement like that, that erratic movement out of that bait, a lot of times will trigger that bass that's just interested in and that was maybe following your lure into actually attacking it. So make the bait move erratically and uh, you know anytime that that you're out there on the water a spinner bait can be a good choice. Again what I love about it is it's good from top to bottom. I can fish them deep, shallow, around cover, and everywhere in between. It's an all-season lure for me and something that I've got a lot of confidence in.